consider a set B and another one in B set A. Now we say that A is included or contained in B and we denote it by A being a subset in B. So this is the notation for A belonging to B. So more precisely we say that A is contained in B if and only if if x, x belongs to A then it must hold that X belongs to B. Well, for instance we have that the set of natural numbers is contained in the set of all integers is contained in the set of all rational numbers, is contained in the set of all real numbers, which is contained in the set of all complex numbers. What you should be is a little bit careful with the symbol, the implication sign above. Yeah. So if x belongs to A implies x belongs to B, the implication sign has a very specific meaning. So it's a logical construct. So suppose that we say, well, Bella is a dog. Then this implies that Bella is, a, is an animal, right? But what is wrong is that you that you conclude the converse. So if Bella is an animal, it doesn't automatically mean that Bella is a dog. So we don't have the two sided implication sign. So the direction of the arrows that you use are actually uh, do mean a lot. Another example. If x is smaller or equal than 4, then this means that x is surely smaller or equal than 6. But the converse does not hold. So if x is smaller or equal than 6, then it doesn't automatically mean that x is smaller or equal than 4. Yeah, for instance, 6 is not smaller or equal than 4. So this would be, uh, uh, be a counterexample. Look at the following. x times x plus 4 is larger than 0. It does not mean that x is larger than 0 and x plus 4 is larger than 0. However, if x is larger than 0, then we see that x times x plus 4, x plus 4 is also larger than 0, so the product is also larger than 0. Yeah, so again, we have a direction of our implication, which is crucial here. So now consider the quadratic equation x squared plus 6, 6x plus 8 equals 0, and we know that this equation has two solutions, so x equals minus 2 or x equals minus 4. But now we can go the converse, yeah, the other way around. So if x equals minus 2 or x equals minus 4, this would mean, this would imply that x squared plus 6, x plus 8 equals 0. So now we can uh, use the double implication sign, the two-sided implication sign. 